Hello, good evening, namaskar. Parlay talk and Chapikas and Ujwala's tutorials. Welcome you all. Today we are going to have an online session for career guidance. We have uh, Dhaval Gandhi and Pratik Gandhi who have been experts in this. See, I've been in the stitching profession for the last 39 years and I have witnessed you know all the journey from blackboard teaching to uh, this online teaching and there has been a sea change in the career patterns and we are all here to know about it so um, i uh, request puja to uh, uh, introduce them thank you hello good evening everybody uh, this is Nita mule side and um, as Ujala ma'am said um, this is a career guidance seminar for our uh, kids who are struggling to choose careers um, right from early school days uh, whether to opt for science whether to opt for commerce arts it's it's um, a rat race you know uh, in, in this competitive world it is very important to choose the right career at the right time so we have experts um, professor Dhaval Gandhi and uh, professor Pratik Gandhi today with us so, um, a very quick question for Professor Dhawal. Uh, in this challenging times and otherwise, we would like to know from you, how do our kids go about choosing the career? Like, what would be the correct approach for choosing the right career? Professor Dhawal, please. Thank you, Parley Talk, for inviting us today. A very warm welcome to all the parents and dear students. Uh, it's been extremely difficult times last eight to nine months. It's extremely, extremely challenging periods. The COVID has created a mess all around. But the, the community which has got really badly affected are the kids who are who are being absolutely subjected to a very different mode of teaching. But again, amidst all this, one thing will stay is the right careers. The kids will have to really understand COVID or no COVID when the things come back to normal. People will have to choose the right program right away. They have had enough time now to start thinking because it's been a long time. They are subjected to their house, confined to their house. The first thing that kids need to understand when they start in terms of planning their career, you know, there is one beautiful statement of English which I would like to address to start my today's uh, conversation with, with uh, Pooja. So just to start on this, there is one beautiful English exam which says, Failing to plan, I repeat, failing to plan is planning to fail. So all dear children, whether you're in grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11 and grade 12, or maybe even the higher age group, make sure that you start planning. And the three things we look at when we are planning the careers is your aptitude, is your interest and your personality. Read a lot, start identifying, use Google wisely, use YouTube videos wisely. Put in whatever word comes to your mind in terms of a career aspiration. Put it on Google, put it on YouTube, go to Quora, go to Wikipedia and start exploring. That will give you one first thing, whether you have an interest towards a career. Then whether you have an aptitude, invariable you children have to remember, academic scores do play a very, very pivotal role. So subjects that you study at the school level or at the college level, your parents and teacher keeps putting a lot of efforts and they take the special trouble in telling you to get great marks. Trust me, anywhere you want to study in whichever best universities in India or in the world, you need to get great scores. So your aptitude, your interest and your personality are the three characteristics or the most important pertinent features which will help a child to understand whether they are suited towards a career or not. Pooja. Yeah, so thank you so much for um, the, such great information, Professor Dhawal. So we would like to know uh, more about, you know, what are the important key factors that need to be kept in mind before, you know, a child chooses his or her career, like, you know, or particularly um, with respect to commerce and humanities when we talk about what are the most important factors that we can look at when, you know, the child has to choose a career. Okay, so let's talk about directly commerce. You know, what is commerce? Commerce is nothing but business. The synonym word for commerce is business. So when you're choosing commerce and arts, when, you, when we go to the Western countries, especially Europe, US, 
the western curl academics is is a big attraction point a lot of indians for for a long dec of multiple decades in past and even now but if you understand the education system in in western countries and even far east asian countries we find there is no commerce as a stream it's generally the sciences and the humanities which is also in india called as arts or uh, primarily the kids at in the icsc board in the igib igcs they have lot of options today to select their subjects so when the kids are right from 8th standard nowadays they have an option of dropping uh, either maths dropping their sciences you know the children and the parents have to be very conscious that at the grade eight there are lot of there's a very disturbing trend today to this parlor talk conversation i would like to draw attention and try to raise the red flag that you know you cannot as far as possible avoid dropping mathematics subject at the grade eight level maths is a very critical subject there are lot of career options will completely get relinquished if you are dropping maths at a very early age so as far as possible lot of parents feel that they had phobia you know they had troubles doing maths and the child has been struggling till grade 6 grade 7 finding difficult finding great teachers so why to create that maths let's make him let him uh, drop maths then later on they realize there are lot of careers that the math is needed so first thing do it take the subjects very very wisely if you are very sure that later in life you do not want to do sciences the physics the chemistry the biology and careers related to that then you may think about dropping science otherwise it's extremely advisable that you know you hang on to science also till grade 10 but again that's where you need some expert one on one counseling since this is a general conversation and a career talk i would come strict quickly to the commerce and the humanities part now in india after 10th grade especially for the state boards or the isc board which is an extension of icsc or the cbsc board which is an extension of the cbsc 10th for 11 12 we have an option of choosing either science arts or commerce i am not speaking lot on ib board today or the igcsc a level i am not speaking on that but for this three boards specifically you need to choose either commerce arts or science let's say assuming the child has from the grade 8 drop science okay so there is no question of he choosing science let's say after 10 he studied science is still 10 lot of students are now opting for commerce and arts this is also very changing trend which i would like to draw attention of all my dear parents and students just going by the 2019 data because the 20 data is not out the number of students who have appeared for state hsc board is around 3 lakh and above around close to 1 and a half lakh plus people have chosen commerce and the remaining balance is been distributed between arts and science so there is a new age trend in 90s in 80s maybe early 2000 also there were massive number of people who were choosing sciences but in the last decade decade and a half the swing has moved towards commerce so there are more and more people choosing commerce so when you do want to choose commerce coming to the main question why to choose commerce why to choose art it is about the interest if i do not like physics if i if i am struggling to balance my chemical equation if if biology and 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 the human life or the life in general is not something which is attracting my attention and in the science as a whole my scores are dropping i may look at other options when it comes to other options commerce has subjects like the organization of commerce or the business studies economics that will have accounts and and math so you know commerce is generally a huge point of an attraction people can do theater dramatics mass media they can pursue economics they can go to law they can choose all the finance careers like ca cf ac ca cpa they can also later on do their mba ups is obviously is possible but there are lot of example i just use the word ups which is union public service commission exams there a lot of papers are from the sciences and the arts so arts also has lot of careers possible because of the subjects that they study is like psychology like political science like sociology literature they can also pursue good languages english is obviously going to be predominantly first language they can go for french german spanish mandarin they can also learn mandarin alongside not part of the mainstream syllabus they can learn the native language of hindi marathi uh, also people can opt for sanskrit so the number of options that subjects people have in commerce and humanities are way too too many with the advent of new education policy whenever they will get implemented uh, i am sure we are expecting that to get implemented as early as possible student will have an option of choosing subjects 
either from commerce or humanities so first thing if the child has been worry of studying science do not want to get into streams like engineering architecture medicine then obviously commerce and humanities could be a big draw between commerce and humanities what is a better option i think during the course of conversation we'll address that thanks to you yeah thank you so much dawal uh, so dawal uh, also we would like to know what is uh, how much does uh, parental pressure or peer pressure um, influence a child in taking his or her career decisions like you know these days many people are like okay mera dost ye kar raha hai meri dost ye kar rahi hai uh, why not why shouldn't i do that so otherwise you know at times when parents are like okay we are from commerce background my my son wants to get into science or uh, maybe say some some line like astrophysics medicine so many so many lines to explore but how much does parental pressure or um, peer pressure influence a child in deciding what to opt for so like to know from you yeah thanks pooja you know the problem in general is what you know there is the society that we stay in especially in india it's not only in india if you go to china you go to indonesia you go to south korea these are all extremely aspiring countries with some of them still not the most developed nations still the tag of developing countries they are obviously on the progression chart they are much ahead of india but again they are they are the the mindset of this parents and the children of all these countries is no education or no great degrees no great career is a social taboo so is it in india so if you not studying and this trend is getting stronger and it will get stronger and thicker in time to go so if you are not getting the right career path you are not able to get into the top schools if you are not able to earn a great qualification it's your passport to a great corporate world to great careers towards excellence and you know the degrees the few letters and the acronym are an extension of a human name so it is very very important that the kids you know they start planning in 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 a in a manner that uh, you know whether it's commerce or whether it's humanities whether it's uh parents you know a lot of times in india uh parents you know they tell children that main ca nahi ban paya mera sapna hai ki tum ca ban jao okay so when the children are very young this thoughts are poured and sown into their head lot of parents behave you know as statue of expectation trying to get their unfulfilled desired or you know desired goals through their kids although the times are changing parents are extremely well aware of the changing trends they are also very educated nowadays but this is also been the issue for a long period of time without understanding that my child need not have every time a great score he or she supposes trying hard but is not able to still get the marks don't compare every time with the toppers in the class do not see okay there are times parents say okay i've got my child has got 18 out of 20 why have two marks gone away on the contrary why are not celebrating 18 out of 20 and politely see wherever you can improve but there are so many times parents kills the confidence so many families we have seen a child getting highest in hindi highest in marathi highest in history highest in civics and when he or she comes home happily saying mama i got the highest in history mummy says but what are the marks that you've got in maths why so why do we not celebrate excellence in certain subjects now this is one very disturbing trend second peer to peer comparison third mama masi chacha uncle bua sons daughter neighbor they go about asking these people in in their proximity okay and 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 one of them one of them who is done outstandingly well is celebrated in the society and everyone seeks their lot of time their advice and there are a lot of time comparison that happens so you'll have to understand whom are you seeking advice from whom are you comparing understand your children's strength every boy and girl is definitely blessed with some beautiful qualities today in today's time i and i'm sure pratik also joins in few minutes from now we very very strongly believe that whatever you do you have to be the best at it even if you are one who is selling sandwich you are the best sandwich wala in that area if you are a barber you have to be the best barber in that area if you are if you are a, a musician you have to be the best musician if you are a dj you have to be the best dj so do not force your kids to maddeningly get into you know some specific programs because nowadays there is a rat race we come across passion like data science machine learning augmented reality virtual reality you know digital media 
that's obviously the new age careers people are chasing and choosing but also see am i having the aptitude is my child having the right interest is he or she having the right personality if not there are plenty of careers that you can explore which will completely justify and vindicate your child's child's blessings the almighty would have definitely blessed certainly would have rather blessed all the children with some great marriage we need to explore that so peer to peer comparison parents putting undue pressure should it's a high time that 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 gets dissuaded thanks puja okay thanks dawal so um that's i'm sure that motivates a lot of kids you know the way um you gave clarity on whom uh, to consult and whom to compare with and you know how to go about choosing i'm sure that gives a lot of clarity to the students and parents on uh, choosing also uh, dawal i think many of them have this question in mind how important it is to uh, look at the package the, the monetary package or the location while choosing the careers what will be the placement what will be the starting package all these factors then the competitiveness all this uh, how how would one consider these factors while choosing a career the package and the location and stuff I, I very strongly believe before we jump into the package, we are running a little too fast into the packages and all. It's not the right thing right now to immediately address. I think Pratik should really come into the picture and speak a little more about certain career ways of of going about how can one go about exploring careers, how important are internships, and how can someone really go about those things. I think let Pratik come in between. Yeah, thanks, Dabal. and thanks palito uh, for inviting us uh today to guide you for this career seminar or perhaps webinar guys just to put this uh, i mean listening to what dawal have been saying and there is something interesting which goes on you know when you go and select the careers so just to put forward guys and just to put this into perspective when dawal said and of course puja asked that question about what goes into career i'll go little back and i'll try to tell you something which is very interesting so whenever parents do you know ask this question as to how do we decide that this particular career is the right career i'll just give you a small anecdote what took place i think 3 months back there this is girl in 10th standard in south bombay had visited us and she is the daughter of a leading gynec in south bombay so dad was little pushy on sending a kid you know sending a daughter to science stream but what double suggested to them was really nice double suggested that you can do one thing you can give her 7 to 8 10 days ask her to take a internship because you being the leading gynec you definitely have lot and lot and lot of contacts around in mumbai once the vacation is going on you can give her a chance to go through it in that vacation time guys 3 3 days she went on and virtual across all the places three or four places she doctor she visited and after that fortnight 15 days when she returned back to the counselor that is the and guys you know what is the first question double ask so how was your एक्सपीरियंस एंड शी सेट लाइफ में कुछ भी बनूंगी पर डॉक्टर नहीं बनूंगी करियर इज ऑल अबाउट द बिगेस्ट थिंग एंड द बेस्ट वे टू सिलेक्ट द करियर इज टू गो एंड एक्सप्लोर एंड डू इंटर्नशिप सी अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी डोंट है किडजेनिया आई एम वेरी श्योर पेरेंट्स वुड बी अवेयर वट इज किडजेनिया बच्चों के लिए होता है दैट यू गो अराउंड यू नो यू मेक दम एक्सपीरियंस दैट दैट इज द बेस्ट वे अ स्टूडेंट कैन एक्सप्लोर So when you talk about the career, according to me, if you ask me, this would be a simple thing, you know. Can you go? Can you do a little bit of research? Can you go ahead and do a little bit of exploration? Can you go and do some internship? I'm very sure. जो लड़की को डॉक्टर बनना था, after experiencing for 15-20 days, going through what the environment is, what is work-life balance, she was quick to say that life में कुछ भी बनूंगी पर डॉक्टर नहीं बनूंगी. Just an anecdotal evidence which I wanted to give it to you. So I think there's lot to say on careers. I'll pitch in whenever I am asked for. Thank you, Dawal. Uh, thank you, Pooja. 
Think of this. You can ask the question. You can continue the conversation. In case you want me, I am there. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you so much, um, Pratik, for um, such a beautiful um, yeah. case study that uh, you gave us today. Uh, so, um, coming back to careers, uh, what are the age? Uh, what are the new careers? Um, what are the upcoming careers? Or what are the new careers in today's um, era? That if uh, if students want to explore, like you know, our time it was always like okay, engineer, banana, doctor, banana, CA, banana. So what are the new careers that have come over the past um, three, four decades? Could you please tell us a little more about the new careers? Dawal, Dawal. Yeah, Dawal, Pratik, anyone. We would love any. Uh, Pratik, Pratik, if you could uh, please tell us. So see, uh, Pooja, I'll be very quick on this. And of course, I'm very sure Dawal will also have its own say on this. So I'll just try to put this into perspective straight away to you all guys. Guys, new age careers, you talk about, there are a lot of new age careers. Of course, this uh, data science, you know, digital learning has become a way of life. And I'm very sure, you know, in the next 20, 30 or decade, you know, four or decade or five, this is here to stay. So what Dawal said, machine learning, you know, you talked about <coughs> all the types of digital courses which are there, are but obviously going to stay for sure. But just to talk about, you know, let us let me give an example because I always believe the best way you can explain them is through example. Let's say logistic and supply chain management. I, Pooja, for sure believe this is something where you have to, you know, put your money, you know, you have to punt on this. Why do I say this is, I mean, look at Zomato, look at Swiggy, uh, look at Amazon. Sabka dhanda kya hai. End of the day, it's all about logistic and supply chain management. Right time per right delivery pochana. So this is something which is something going to be very big. In fact, a lot of people who are listening right now would be shocked to know that Dabbawalas from India were called up in US in one of the Stanford University to give them a live lectures. And India's Dabbawala represented the case of theirs. How a zero defect free quality. Matlab, today I have made a biryani and other, let's say a person, why I have made something roti sabji. While it changes its hands five to six times before it reaches to its final destination, the Dabba doesn't change. Now, how does this guys must be doing it? And guys, these are not educated people. So guys, you will be shocked to know when this thing was going on, on the very first row, there are people from FedEx, there are people from Jeff, I mean, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, there is Pepsi, uh, Indira Nui chairwoman who was sitting it. Why? Because they want to know this. So supply and logistic chain management was something super. That's that's one thing, Pooja, I will love to tell the student. The second, which is amazing, you know, is, is about the sports. I mean, there is luxury retail. You know, you talk about this as India as a country grows. You know, today, if I just give you a data, India, just give a simple example to that. India has a per capita income of around about $3,000, $3,500. China is $16,000. So they are almost close to around five times ahead of India. And if India will somewhere, you know, close on around China, a per capita income will grow, spending power will grow, people will spend more on luxury. So luxury products is something which if anyone is planning, you know, uh, let's say Chanel, Burberry, you know, you're talking about Louis Vuitton. Guys, it is, again, close your eyes. And this is good because people are going to spend on their lifestyles, when, when they upgrade it, when they become rich, when they get money. That's another thing which I'm talking about. The third thing is a uh, sports management. You know, that is something very important or you can call it, you know, a PR, public relation. Guys, there's this lady called Reshma Shetty. Why don't you go and Google her? She's the one who owns Matrix. She was the one who managed Karan Johar. She was the one who managed once upon a time, managed this guy, uh, Salman Khan, Akshay Kumar. Who is who of Bollywood is managed by this lady. Very powerful lady. Aise kehte ke Bollywood is lady se chalta hai. So guys, whatever she say, she she has to say that is the final word. Endorsements, like for example, Virat Kohli wants to sign, right? Some endorsement. Virat Kohli won't bargain it. Can he? Puma ke saath ke you give me three CRs, four CRs, five CRs. This is the agency will tell them what to be done, what to be not. After this, Deepika Padukone drug case. You know how Deepika Padukone is going to go in a public life is done by PR. So yes, Pooja, just to sum it up, you know three or four luxury retail, of course. Uh, given all this digital and everything in place, I'm telling you something more than that. Supply logistic chain management is something in which is going to be super important. There is something uh, going to be, uh, you can talk about luxury retail. There is something which you want to add, as I said, it, you know, about PR, media, entertainment, all these are the new age sector which you want to talk about. Let double talk about this. Double, if you can pitch in, you can tell them. Yeah, thanks, Pratik. I think you just briefly also 
spoke spoke about uh, Pratik briefly touched the topic of sports management. So that sports management, sports. Sorry, the so sports management is also Pratik you briefly spoke about. So that also is a career option. I think you know you can primarily look upon. Uh, because with the type of IPL, the Pro Kabaddi, the type of leagues that are coming up, not only in India, around the world, even European Champions League and the and 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 whole lot of sporting tournament that happens around the world. So I think sports management is also in India. We are way behind, like in terms of that career aspects. Also, I did touch upon some of the STEM-based program like data science and actuarial science. So let me now briefly run through the career path because Pooja had jumped into the career salaries and all those things. But let me. Tell you ideally when a child is in ninth or tenth standard, and he or she is planning to take commerce or arts. What are the career pathway that happens? So a lot of students start joining the preparatory classes for seven to eight entrance exams. Let's just start with the first one. When the child has completed eleventh standard and he or she is in twelfth standard, okay. So let's talk about someone right now who is in twelfth standard boards. You know, planning to give their board exams. In the month of March is what they were officially scheduled earlier. February, March. Now they are expected to get postponed. So January, currently January first week right now for the children who are in 12th standard appears for the first entrance exam. In case design is what they like. Now when someone likes design, okay, they are they are generally the one who have done drawing, done elementary exams, intermediate exam, have done very well, have participated in creative exams. So there is National Institute of Design in Ahmedabad, among the best design school we believe in Asia. It's India's answer to some of the world's top design schools. Now this design school in Ahmedabad has very few seats, around 102 to be precise, and for that more than 30,000 students take the entrance exams. Now the design courses are either into animations, graphics, filmmaking, exhibition design. They are in ceramic design. Something like a ceramic tile design. Not many colleges in India have something like that as a program. Okay, there is uh, obviously other than the interiors and the jewelry, they have got some very good niche program into you know knit footwear design. There is something into furniture design. Now this sort of programs are not easily available everywhere. The most of the kids generally go around with a famous age-old program called product design. But this sort of design colleges are very few in India. But out of those few colleges, NID is by far the best. But unfortunately, in India, the problem is whichever colleges are extremely reputed, okay, the seats are very few. And the population, the type of population we have in India, is always going to be massive, massive competition. So whether there is NEET, NEET exams giver trying to chase around 70,000 plus, around 70 to 75,000 medical seats, and more than 10 like NEET exam takers. Same way IITs, 10 or 1000 seats in the top premium IITs, massive number of people taking the IIT, JWE, main and advanced. That's on the science side. NID, as I said, then after NID, okay, only 102 seats in the open category. There is IIT, Bombay, people don't know IIT, Mumbai also has a BDS program, but in the open category seats, the number of seats are open are only 14. They all in have only 30 seats at the IIT, Bombay, Pawai campus. Now for that IIT, for an average person, as only engineering program, sorry, they also have a BDS exam, which is possible for a child to take that entrance exam from commerce or arts. Then there is NIFT and National Institute of Fashion Technology. Someone who is specifically interested in fashion, their fashion is not all about fashion design. Okay, it's it's not about apparel and textile design. It also includes knitwear design, accessories design, fashion communication. So the NIFT Delhi campus is the most looked upon campus. Then Mumbai campus, it's at Khargar, then Bangalore campus. They also have their entrance exams in the month of February. There are a lot of NIFT campuses. These three are the top looked upon. Again, the entrance exam for the same happens when the child is in 12th standard. So imagine it's such an important period, 11th and 12th. Someone wishing to do design have three options at the premier colleges. If not these three, there is a list of colleges, which unfortunately, because of paucity of time, we will not be get, getting into. Then after the design entrance exams, it's a busy schedule, Jan to around May or June. Then they have the second set of entrance exams. If some people are interested, let's say in hospitality. 
okay so if they are not very very good with certain mainstream subjects they want to get into the field of hospitality they need to have politeness they need to have class they need to have mannerism they need to have chivalry they need to have great warmth they need to have that personality they need to have the great strength in the communication skills a lot of soft qualities needed they may not be very good with the number crunching skills that's perfectly fine institute of hotel management at aurangabad is affiliated to the taj groups of hotel they run a four year program and that's out of the aurangabad campus where the kids get the summer internships in each and every year at the taj vivanta property in aurangabad that gets kids trained in the in the three main aspects the food and beverage the the culinary and cuisine which is a food and beverage area the front desk and the housekeeping and the general operations the so children can look at hospitality also as a course a lot of people as puja you are talking about new age careers a lot of this kids wants to know about what is actuarial science now actuarial science is nothing to do with taking science it's a 13 level of maths and stats exam 1947 india got independent 2021 73 years in india don't have more than 325 actuaries it's 13 level of maths and stats exam only so people who wants to get into the field where contingent events which is to do with numbers okay uh, for example insurance industry that they they need a lot of uh, recruitment they do in the terms of actuarial passed out graduates they work in the compensation and benefit department for a layman it is all to do with calculations needed for any uncertain events that's where actuaries play a big big role so if i if someone want to recruit a ceo of a company for 10 crore rupees salary is that the right figure for that person actuaries can play a role if x company wants to acquire y for a 1000 crore rupees okay is that the right amount if burger king came out with a 60 rupees ipo is ipo priced for 60 rupees the right price actuaries can still play a role anything to do with numbers actuaries play a role and insurance specifically because it's a very industry full of uncertainties so what premium to pay when the policy should get redeemed so all that computations is done by these actuarial people you, but you need to be outstanding with your math more than math your stats now can a child do 13 level of math stats and a pass percentage is very very low so a lot of young smart people say okay i've got 100 or 100 in tenth maths should i do actuaries yes first point that means you've got some aptitude for maths but is there an interest point there is no meaning getting stuck at some point and then leaving the course halfway but an actuarial entrance exam also happens once the child is in 12 in the form of acet actuarial common entrance test exams then after the actuarial science gets done around in the month of uh, april and in the month of may is a busy season when the kids have because in the month of february march except for this year they have the board year so in the month of may they sit for the law entrance exam now both the commerce and the arts people can do law now this is not a typical b llb course corporate law cyber crime cyber crime environmental law ipr are famous specializations in law so top law schools like national law school bangalore national law school hyderabad national law school kolkata national law school gopal national law school uh, gandhinagar mnlu mumbai NLU Delhi are some of the top law schools in the entrance exam for that is called as CLET Common Law Admission Test. Again, a premier uh, law school's entry or a gateway into those co colleges is through the CLET exams or the ILET specifically for NLU Delhi. Mumbai has a good law school in the form of Government Law College. The state entrance tests are also separate. State entrance tests are other than uh, clet in the month of may there is also bb entrance exams to the iims i'll just tell you two days back couple of more iims so i am in door started the five year bb mba program now now what is bba okay just a lot of people ask what is bba it's a bachelor of business administration course and mumbai university names it as bachelor of management studies now this is a plain vanilla blanket business course if someone wants to study marketing finance human resource operations you love brands you want to launch businesses you want to get into the field of entrepreneurship you know then the business courses are becoming in fact have been age old very famous and, and, and the number of crowd or the crowd getting drawn to this degrees ever increasing so i am indore other what are the top management schools in india i am ahmedabad bangalore kolkata lucknow kozhikode indore xlri fms iift spj imdi gurgaon iit ghaziabad jamnala bajaj nmims arf so and isb hyderabad are the top 15 schools in india out of which only first i am was i am indore which started bb mba 5 year course otherwise most of those 
management schools have only an mba program which you can you do after 15 and this is not what the session today session is for so when you go for the iims to so iim indore ke baad there was another iim which started two more iims have started now one one iim in uh, ranchi has started uh, their own five year program okay so there are an iim rohtak started last year their five year programs so more and more iims are finding that the best way to attract kids early into management programs is from after grade 12 the entrance exam for all the bba colleges nmim is in mumbai simbas is in pune christ in bangalore flame in lunawala pune and whole lot of new universities that have come up in india okay there are like universities like ashoka kriya op jindal paksha atrium bm munjal amdavad university very soon mukesh ambani is geo university is also going to get launched so too many good programs we have but the problem is awareness people we are not aware parents are not aware right till the end you know it's very shocking when we tell kids that they can do five year economics program at iit chennai now iit chennai people don't know there is an economics course five year course after 12 they also have their entrance exam called hse but there is no awareness so thanks to the parlay talk through this you know we are able to uh, speak to the audience whom we are not aware but we are able to speak to them that there are too many of options do not suffocate your kids just with few options and make their life like a frog in a well and then after the may month in june in the month of may now they have also ca foundation exam which lot of chartered accountancy is always the flavor of the season as finance being one of the top things and it's it's age old thing so irrespective of any organizations finance can never go out of place so any business entities you want to start you need a finance expert you need, need a legal expert and fortunately or unfortunately there are no courses which to an extent compete with the strength which chartered accountancy as a course has it has stood the time 70 again 3 years of independence it's still the popular most popular course for finance from the field of commerce people can also get into html web designing then get into theaters dramatics people can get into learning different languages and become translators work for the visa offices of different colleges so there are lot of beautiful programs which you know something will be as odd and as a coffee taster okay a bar tender these are very niche programs not many people will get into this field but there is huge scope in it someone can be a radio jockey and can do outstandingly well someone can be a dj and can begin still a dj chetas i'm not trying to name few personalities but you can do outstandingly well so there are so many beautiful career option it's like going to any social occasion and going and checking the spread first i ever have been invited to any occasions wherever i go for a food uh, and if it's a buffet and it's not a la carte i will first like to just take a look at the the spread and then see what is of my choosing what is more something something that of my appetite something that i love which is of my taste the cuisine and that is the only thing i'll put put it and pick it up and place it in my dish same big careers there are hundreds of them but first of all do not take one or two or three careers because your father could not complete because your aunt said because your uncle said because your cousin has done very well in it that's not a way going that's not a way to go about picking up careers the reason i gave you this entire part you know in fit law with law you can also do company secretary these are all things that are coming in the back of my mind but puja i think my answer can go on and on uh, after yeah. knowing a lot of programs you can think about uh, you know uh, the placement and the salaries and all that will come later but we believe if you do well in right, life right. there is no business called as a small business anything you do in right. life do with huge honesty huge sincerity with the blessing of your parents and almighty you will 100% do very well in your life so do not do not just run maddeningly behind money all the money and and this uh, you know materialistic excellence is is the flavor people generally chase but yes money is always a by product if you if you love and i think pratik will very well say this that if you love what you do i'm sure every day even in a sunday like this we will be most happy to work around so i, I think pratik can just add in and throw in if something that i've missed in on on the terms of conversation pratik yeah so so dabal uh you you just said me you know okay like pratik if you can go and speak about this i was telling you know to just go a little bit forward and understand what's the problem the students are facing right now you know in selecting the careers and guys honestly speaking you know 
let's be sure at this age of life also we are not sure are we in the right careers or not for apps you know because the career as a subject is always evolving it is never something you know which you stick by it and we always keep on progressing with do you know keep on jumping from one career to other so just to give you a little bit of more idea on this i will go one step ahead and tell you what is something super important to select a career and just again to give you an evidence of that steve jobs the best example i'll give you guys guys at the age of 19 when he was in the university right what this steve job did was he did the calligraphy classes now that did that did you know transpired himself in asking himself the same question as to why on the earth i did this calligraphy classes because the normal classes is not interest him so as he was moving around he was moving around asking himself this question years went by years went by in 1996 guys when they came out with the first mac that is the point of time he said that i did that calligraphy classes help me in understanding what the different types of fonts so microsoft never did that because they always copied apple that's in his words but to just give you a simple example of this he says you cannot connect the dot looking forward but you can connect the dot looking backwards to ab jo ye bacche skills develop karenge i i i completely 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 put all my money into that please make them again i go back to my same point make them explore make them do something unko 7 din ka skating ka program 10 15 din ka calligraphy ka program make them try to this you don't know what will click what will not so the idea is make them do something like this i will just keep it simple as what double wanted me to speak i'll keep it like skip s k i p now what does this if you want to select a career i've just jotted down into four words the first of course s is the skills which i just give you an example that if you develop skills but chogo time do jitna skills they can develop it at this age trust me because right now the opportunity cost is zero sb they are wasting they can do whatever you want them to do who knows after 10 years 15 years 20 years 30 years that will help them to decide their careers or maybe that will help them and will turn out to be a turning point of their careers so i will believe if i am a parent that let me ask my son and daughter what they want to do in their life if they can help themselves deciding on their careers and based on that i can start doing some class i can help it the second biggest thing is the interest area what i call is the is is is, is, is okay so s k i p the second k will be for knowledge the first is for skill the second is will be for knowledge the research you have to do it we have counselors like dawal you know who can help you out with top notch courses which are available in india and abroad so that is the type of research a parents has to do it the third which i feel is super important is the interest area is the passion i'm talking about i mean i talk about passion trust me guys sharukh khan is sharukh khan because he used to work 22 hours in his own words on the set of ddlj dil wale dulhiya le jayenge guys tendulkar we have heard about that he used to come from the net practice working 14 to 15 hours right practicing for that and used to lie down on the dining table guys give you a simple example how passionate this guys are virat kohli guys A lot of people are big fans of Virat Kohli and Cristiano Ronaldo. Let me just give you again an example of Cristiano Ronaldo. Guys, when he moved from Real Madrid to Juventus, his medical test was taken. Ronaldo ka. Or kya bola pata hai? The medical side said that your age is 33 years old, but your legs are of 17. But one who trains himself day and night, guys. So what am I talking about? They're they're mad passionate about this. So guys the whole idea is are you passionate about what you're doing it are you interested in what you're doing it Virat Kohli guys he goes in a gym for one and a half hours runs on the treadmill then again for two hours he works out again at the last he again runs at the same speed you know one and a half hours before which he had ran and guys you require that much of stamina and hard work to be number one in the world so do you have that type of undulating passion and why am i talking about passion today guys wo monday ko hum jaate hai na sunday kantala aata hai monday ko when we go na We feel your shit, your. I mean, holidays are over. Moment you feel that, that means you are not in the right. These guys, when they go out, they are damn passionate about their work, their life. You know, Sunday or your Monday, boss. That is where our life is all about. So that is something all I got passion. You need to be damn passionate. So skills. See that your son and daughters have the right skills. If they are getting in that particular professions, which is required, 
your case is the knowledge do you know what what this is all about are you understanding the game and then entering it before jumping are you knowing it that's the knowledge the third is the interest the passion you need to have it without passion there is no meaning guys because as as dawal said about pan wala bd wala you know i'll also give you a simple example you you talk about you talking about i mean a hairstylist let me give you an example guys she is in our friend circle she's today i won't like to name her but she is a very very famous hairstylist in bangalore and pune today they have 17 salons and i'll tell you something 8 years back what used to happen we used to poke fun of her when she used to tell i want to become a hairstylist and we all of us did our finance courses like cfa chartered accountant guys today she has 12 chartered accountants working under her and when she meets us for the dinner she pokes fun at us and we have to keep our mouth shut and sit so guys because she was passionate we all followed money we all followed paisa ja paisa hai waha bhai hamara muh hai but that is the wrong way of deciding the career she followed her passion and money followed her later so that is the next part of it and the last part is guys personality to so skip aapka kadam personality are you introvert are you extrovert what type of personality you have to figure it out parents should help their son and daughters to realize what type of personality if you are an extrovert you better get into sales marketing you get into advertising where you have to speak a lot you have to connect to the customers you are meeting the end users where you are introvert you sit in the back office enjoy yourself be on the computer don't meet the clients guys to so skip according to me is the answer skills you require knowledge you require interest and you require personality thanks pooja and thanks all uh anything else thank you so thank much you so that much. was such an informative uh, um, uh, you know a lot of um, careers uh, so the, uh, one one last thing i would like to ask more the careers more is the confusion so is there something like the best career for a child uh double we would like to hear from you is there something like a best career for a child <laughs> i i hope i would have been able to answer this something what is the best career you know you you let's say pooja let's take your example if you just go around and you want to get yourself once again married and i give you an option of you have a choice of marrying siddharth malhotra varun dhawan you know vicky kaushal kartik arya there is nothing called as best everyone comes with their own plus and minus so it's there is nothing called as the best one single career as pratik said i talked about aips aptitude interest personality and pratik spoke about skip there is a uh, skills knowledge interest and personality so what what we are trying to just tell is if parents are right now watching if the children are in 7th 8th grade and their say elder child is in 10th 11th the younger ones you still have time as pratik said something very beautiful uh, don't get attracted by some ad saying you have to know coding and everything don't don't get completely infatuated by all this you know marketing by some big companies but yes they need to have some skills like uh, an art class a hobby class Okay, learning a language at an early age—it is a science involved, which says the more language that you know, your mind gets a little more sharpened up. The more and more languages that you go, there's some sort of science involved with it. But anyways, just to come on it, some sort of skills that you need to develop. Sports make your children get the get into the sports. I strongly advise parents to avoid giving mobiles to children once they are till the tenth standard gets over. For for till that, the kids should be you know it's a huge menace. and there is also a story from the apple steve jobs biography if you read where he never gave the mobiles to his own children till they were of a certain age so i, I don't know uh, just staying away a little bit from social media everyone has a facebook account insta account every moment they want to compare with their friends it's killing their mind way too early in life outdoor sports staying happy less pressure working hard eating good healthy meal these are all key things for a great mind to develop when the parents having the children in 7th or 8th grade have to closely monitor the scores because you will realize the kids were good till 7th standard from 8th they suddenly start start dropping the child was good till 9th or maybe 10th and then once they join the college in 11th the scales score start dropping so 8th grade going to 9th 10th going to 11th this are and and then once people jo- joining and getting in the higher age group there are high chance of lot of distractions that will happen to the children when a boy or girl is growing their mind will go into hundreds of things can we create pious atmosphere around can we have great role models pulled in pushed in front of them can they be made to read good autobiographies can they be taken to great great place to visit just not always fun frolicness but great historical place a great monumental place talking about great human beings their their life or what value system made them reach where they have reached 
so it is very important to create a strong great clean brilliant value system which will develop a very strong character from the early stages in this children's mind and obviously getting them exposed okay watching them the right documentary movies sometimes a science based movie sometimes you know a, a travel based movie a series called scam was very very famous of late but obviously not meant for children at the lower age group because of 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 the abusive words or whatever they use but then there are there are uh, in pursuit of happiness i will i will strongly recommend parents and children that if someone wants to really understand the world of finance there's a very nice beautiful movie called in pursuit of happiness make them watch if parent have come across something really really good make the kids indulge into those activities make them attend during the summer breaks some summer school sessions lot of schools open up summer school sessions let them indulge into dramatics you know rail padam se runs it shamak dawa runs the dance stuff so there's so many activities what i love what pratik said make them do some activities which will you know surely start making them filter what they like what they don't like because when the kids are way too young after 10th is over you know you can do some small short internships in area of your interest or choice so this is what i was wanting to say okay yes puja tell me anything else if you would wish to listen for well, i'm i'm sure the audience loved the discussion that we had it was extremely informative and it's like you know as you rightly said that you know you go to a function and there are there is a platter you have to choose something that you really like from, from that platter so i'm sure that you know the uh, the parents and the kids have now got a clarity on what to zero down on with respect to their careers so uh, one one last thing i would like to raise is why is there such an undying craze of studying abroad i mean the moment the kids So you know, finish their graduation for the post graduation. They want to run abroad. So I mean, why is it, and will it will it stay? What do you think, um, Pratik? We would like to know from you. Yeah. So so I'll I'll help you at Pooja with that. You know, but uh, I'll also like double to add in because he is the foreign counselor. You know, abroad based counselor will help you out with that. But I'll just give you something interesting about why going abroad. just again because i i am an example guy you know i always keep on adding lot of examples to it so i'll just tell you you know puja what if this parents understand you know they 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 think about they 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 think about why abroad the exposure which you get at abroad is 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 amazing it's amazing trust me i'll give you a simple example of this you know uh, you go through any of this university stanford the harvards the yale although not even the top 10 top 20 is topic the culture is so fascinating you know the time was like in one of the abroad countries around and i'm on the beach and i'm just asking this young guys what are you doing he said we have saturday sunday off we are doing skating you know uh, scuba diving i mean what types of sports the people are involving it and trust me why am i mentioning all this thing it's it's the holistic development it's not the rat race which we have it in india and china and that is something very important that exposure the mindset i'll give you the best example of this travis kelenic very few people have heard about him but you just listen to what this man used to have done he was a complete failure in two business he lost his money he was almost a verge on a bankruptcy and you know one again this man started something of his own startup it became successful he made some money out of it the first thing he did was he took a world tour as soon as he went about making his world tour with his friends he returned back and the first thing on the table he did was okay what is the worst thing we found when we had to 22 countries is it's taxi taxi ne milti hai we go out of the hotel and we move down the two lanes and there's a taxi which is empty which is vacant which is standing there but we are standing it there's need to be technology to connect them and that is ladies and gentlemen the uber came into the picture what am i trying to tell you is guys this mindset is required and that mindset only comes through that look at google look at facebook look at i mean you look at twitter you look at anything around it's america was leading the world right why because that mindset i mean that type of culture the type of environment with the people create out of it and that is something fantastic so i think the race for abroad will stay according to me should stay because that mindset until less we in india do not change it let the students to have it offshore they may return back that's another way but of course opportunities and the mindset and the environment is it double if you can help them out so i would li- i would like to add uh, a very important point uh, as pratik touched india and china they are the most uh, leading countries in terms of population but if you look at uh, almost all aspects uh, pooja the last point that uh, we should rather address because i was just watching the time 
and we are very close to the time limit of six given to us. So let's say Facebook, Google, Yahoo, Apple, Amazon, Tita, Microsoft, Oracle, Cisco, LinkedIn, all companies have their origin and base in US. Tesla, US, Amazon. So you know China almost on all front competes with US. That's the second most uh, financially or economically very strong country next to US is let's say put up China. So let's say if US have Amazon, they have got Alibaba, they've got Facebook, they've got their own, uh, you know, uh, Didi Kuwait is Insing service competing the, uh, uh, you know, Uber. In US have Google, they've got their own Baidu's. So on all economic front, China is competing with US. But for education, you'll be shocked to know the the biggest companies in education in China are SAT, ACT training companies, the examination needed for children to go to US and study. Because research and development is there only in US. India is still, unfortunately, whether we like it or do not like it, you know, a few days left before a Republic Day celebration we indulge in, but we are still a poor country from the international perspective. We hardly spend on research and development and whatever few things we do at times is plagiarism. So not only India, the entire world. So there are few European countries and America in general, in particular, spend a lot on research and development. And the children would want to learn from someone who is doing that research. You know, it is so unfortunate. Either Pooja, you, me, Pratik, our dear friends, our listeners right now, we are using either an Apple mobile, Samsung mobile, or your Oppo or Vivo. Where are India made Micromax? Where is Carbon? Where is Lava? So in, a, in something like a mobile market, we are not able to create a handheld device, which is an India made production. As our dear Prime Minister is continuously advocating of making India. We are absolutely an economic slave to many of this country. And hence children who are looking at great infrastructure, learning from the horse's mouth, learning from the teachers who are doing their own research, okay, learning for great economic opportunities, express themselves, living in a good country, and, and these this streets are getting attracted to go abroad. They are trying too much to, you know, that is the only last difference between India and China. Chinese go to US, study in Europe, and go back to their country and develop their country. Unfortunately, a lot of our Indian students are playing, you know, uh, staying back. So I hope government of India does something that our young, brilliant brains, let them go and study from the best places in the world. But let them come to our own country, our own motherland, and make our soil and our country flourish to the heights and pinnacles of excellence. And let the parents not go to other countries and, and get accustomed to their climates and their culture. Let India as a country move ahead. And, and the kids have to. This is the generation. If young children are listening to it through the parlor talk, I hope it reaches not to a year, but to your mind and heart. And you kids get motivated. And again, I say, with your parents and Almighty's blessing, you flourish. And because of your India will flourish. Thank you, Pooja. I have nothing more to add. Wow. Beautiful, beautifully said, Dawal. Thank you so much. And yes, as you rightly said, you know, we have to make our mothers um, and motherland proud. So um, I think uh, all the questions what the kids must be having in their mind must be uh, clear, at least most of them. But uh, for uh, if you have any comments or if you have any more questions, please feel free to write us um, in the comment section or please feel free to mail or WhatsApp us. And I'm sure all of you had a fantastic time with our uh, beautiful counselors. And I'm sure you must have uh, got clarity on what careers to zero down to. And thank you so much for being with us today. Have a beautiful evening, everybody. And thank you so much, uh, Parley Talk. Uh, Dawal sir, Pratik sir, and uh, big thank you to um, Traffickers and Ujula's tutorials, Ujula ma'am. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you.